I've recently been experimenting with making my own high quality Mario 64 bloopers, and one technique I've been using fairly frequently is chroma key. The two best methods I've found for getting chroma key footage out of Mario 64 are by using a special safe state that someone made, or by making your own ROM. Making your own green screen ROM is prone for error and very limited in my opinion, mainly because it assumes you have full access to the ROM and you can modify the texture. Safe states work alright too, but there's two problems. One, they're safe states, meaning that they don't work with other ROM hacks, period. And two, they have wall, which isn't that much of a problem, only the space you have is fairly tiny. So I spent most of yesterday making what I believe to be a better ROM hack for getting green screen footage. This package comes with three hacks, a green screen ROM, a blue screen ROM, and a pink screen ROM. In addition, patches are provided so you can easily patch this over existing ROM hacks. It's simplistic and basic enough to where you should be able to patch this over any ROM hack. One thing you might notice, however, is that there, other than the custom level, the only real modifications is the textures. The HUD isn't missing, there's no color code applied. So, in my opinion, not only should you not have a problem patching this over a ROM hack, you should really have full control over the ROM hack. If you know a lot about ROM hacking, I've also provided the model file for the level and the version of the ROM that doesn't have any textures aside from the regular Mario 64 ones. In addition to that, the actual level in the ROM is pretty much infinite in a way. Using the same trick as the endless stairs from the original game, the edges on the map warp you back when you touch them, meaning that you shouldn't run into them at any point. This was implemented so I could record chroma key footage of Mario doing a BLJ, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other things this could be useful for as well. Also, I really hope you're thinking of the clip that I was thinking of when I'm testing this and I'm not making a loose comparison. Probably the most glaring problem is that this was built with Mario 64 ROM Manager, which is a more recent program and is slowly becoming a more popular choice. Because of this, it's not guaranteed you'll be able to pass this over any ROM. If you make high quality bloopers, I recommend trying all three of these methods as this is definitely not a perfect ROM and has its problems. You can download the ROM patches in the description below. I also have a Mario 64 channel in my Discord so you can visit it and ask me questions about the hacks there.